Hi everybody, um, up here in Maine today it's raining quite a bit and behind me you can see a picture that I took um, a while ago up in Canada and today is free photo editor day so today we're going to work with Pixlr X. Last time we spoke we worked with Pixlr Express but I'm going to show you a pre-recorded video that shows you about Pixlr X and how you can work with it and then I'm going to come back into here. So let me click over so you can watch this video. Then I'll, I'll hop back in in case you have any questions. And if not, then we'll catch you next time. But anyways, let's get you over there. Hello, everybody. Today we're going to do a free video editor called, well, last week I had done one called Pixlr Express. And there's a video on that. And I have a whole bunch more on Pixlr Express that I've done previously for you. But... Um, it looks like at some point here that the Adobe Flash Player, which uh, has a lot to do with running this particular software, will not be, uh, is going to be phased out. So they're going to be switching over to what it says here, a, a new smarter and faster Pixar X. So I wanted to show you that today. Um, but like I say, th this one here, I have a lot of things for you going forward that I'll show you um, maybe in a couple of weeks. But let's go over here to Pixlr X now. Let's try out Pixlr X. All right, and let's open up a photo. Okay, so you can see up here now it's pixlr.com slash X. So we're going to open up a photo. I'm going to click here on open a photo. And I'm going to open this one here um, that I did when I was in Canada. So let's open that up. And let's just show you a couple of quick and easy things here. What we want to do, there's a lots of different adjustments and things like here that we can make. But we're going to go right into here the adjust um, uh, tools. So let's click on that. And just for the heck of it, if you don't feel like messing around with all these, you can just click on one up here that says run and it'll automatically set it to what it thinks it should be. And that's that's pretty good. But let's, let's reset that. I'm clicking down here. And let's just go in and do this all manually without doing the automatic. So I guess the first thing I do here is I go down here to the exposure and I go to the right and I give ourselves a little bit more exposure. All right. And then I think that maybe I would go up here and hit saturation and go over to the right and give me a little more saturation. And I'd, I'd try the vibrance here, but I wouldn't go too much with that. Um, like I say, it gets kind of crazy if you get too much with all of these things. But it, it's a personal taste. You do anything however you want. Uh, and let's see. Now, down here we have highlights and shadows. So the shadows aren't too bad, but if you sl slid here, you can see that the shadows pick up. But I'm going to keep that right at zero where it was. And I might bring the highlights down a little bit. So you can see that it kind of darkens up here around the rail and into the water and things like that. And then there's a whole lot of other things that you can get involved with here. But we're not going to go over all of those. But I think one that I will show you here is if you click here where it says details and click on the plus, it has a sharpen one. And if you click over a little bit more to the right, it will sharpen that up for you. You can go as much of that as you want. We'll leave that right there. And then when you're done with that, just click back on details and it'll close up. And when you're done with that, you're just going to click OK. All right, and um, I, I guess that that image is, is good for me, and I think it's going to be different for everybody's going to have a different taste on it. So you can either go, like I said, when you go in here, you can either go with the, the manual, which we just did, or you can do an, a one-click, and it'll automatically fix itself. And then when you're, like I say, you just okay it when you're done with it, and you save it. All right, you're going to save it as a JPEG, high quality. And that's the size it's going to be. And you just save it. And that will go to your desktop, you know, wherever you want it to. Um, and, and just, you know, click on Say Save. And that's all you have to do there with that Pixlr X. So that's pretty good. I'll be doing more videos on that as we go along. And I will also introduce you to the all the ones that I did before for Pixlr Express. So you can do whichever ones you want. Some of them do um, things that the other one does not. So that's it for this video. Have a great day. All right. So that's it for Pixlr X. And that's a free photo editor that you get at the address that I put into the browser there. And that works really well. Okay, for those of you that want to get involved with Photoshop or just maybe don't have the finances to do it right now. So I'm going to um, uh, move myself out of here with the green screen. 
Okay, so you can just see that's what the finished um, picture came like when I was done with it. It was initially quite a bit darker than that, after, you know, like you saw from the video. So I'm going to put myself back in here with the magic of green screen, and I'm going to um, probably head out now and get ready. Tomorrow we'll be doing another video. We'll be doing some um, a Q and A. So if you're around, you know you can send any questions that you might have anything to do this week or that you might have to this address up here, which uh, is photographytribe at gmail.com. And if not, then we'll see you tomorrow, and thanks for, um, for listening.